I'd rather have a car run and drive good versus look good. And when you think about painting cars, you often think of how expensive it is because of the labor intense nature of painting a car. In this video, I'll kind of show you how a friend of mine talked me into having him paint my car for basically the cost of just materials and the labor for me and him to prep and paint the car. So in this video, I'll transform my E30 from this to that. <laughs> Most of the work associated with painting a car is all in the prep. And in this stage, I actually hired somebody to, to do a lot of the prep for me. And what I mean by that is they you know, pulled some of the dents, they filled some of the uh, body imperfections, and did a lot of the sanding to get down to the base coat. Uh, obviously, it's best to leave that critical phase to professionals. Uh, the rest of the project uh, we did with um, what I would consider middle grade to high grade uh, materials, um, but we shot everything out of a Harbor Freight um, HVLP gun, so a very cheap gun. Um, I want to say that my full all-in spend with this paint job was less than $1,200, maybe twelve to $1,500. I didn't add up all the receipts. Uh, about 500 in material, about 100 or 200 in miscellaneous sanders and and um, polishing and buffing discs, and then the rest of it I paid to the body man who who did the the filling and the in the prep work. Huge shout out to my buddy Eric who provided his backyard for us to do this project. Um, as you can see, this is a makeshift paint booth. We did what we could to minimize the amount of dust, so we kind of wet everything down with a hose uh, to prevent dust from flying up. And then uh, Eric went on to paint the car, and he did. He laid down three coats of base and three coats of clear afterward. Um, I think it turned out great um, for the amount of money we have into this paint job. I'm very, very, very happy with it, and my E30 now has a very good look. Um, when we first started the project, I joked with Eric and told him, hey, I want a, I want a 10 foot paint job. And as you kind of get into things and you do some of the labor, um, it's worth going the little extra mile to get a four foot paint job or even a two foot paint job, which means you know, you can't really tell the major blemishes until you get a little bit closer two feet in my case. Uh, I'm really pleased with the paint job and again, I'm forever grateful to Eric for convincing me to do this, providing a place and even painting my car for more or less free to me. So Eric, thank you. And um, you guys will see more of Eric as he just bought a 635 CSI that we're gonna film shortly. And when you're done spraying the car, it looks good from a distance. But as you look closer, you can start to see orange peel. And in order to remove this, you have to wet sand and then polish the, the clear coat. Um, I will not show that to you in this video, but I'll create another video. Uh, and I will show you the procedure I use to polish the paint on my car and finish it. So until then, I'll see you on the next project.